everyone, and welcome to week one of the NPC's uh, team building analysis video, team breakdown video, whatever it is, my team breakdown analysis, all that jazz. Um, this week we are facing Nito God, uh, I think his real name is Josh, you hear my cat in the background so I apologize, and the New Bark Nito Kings, New Bark Nitos, one of the two. Um, so on his team, I just need to check what mods he has exactly, because I wrote them down but I don't remember off the top of my head, so I'm just gonna open up this thing and hopefully it actually loads. So the New Bark Nitos. So, Big threats on his team. He's got Manaphy, Alakazam, Amoongus, Umbreon, Flygon, Swellow, Mega Houndoom, Electros, Sylveon, Nido King, Porygon 2. So, Porygon 2 is super extremely bulky. Uh, I have Mons on this team to be able to handle it, but probably not enough. Um, so, if he brings that, it's going to be a little bit difficult. You know, it's just kind of annoying. So, I definitely expect the Manaphy to come. So I'm bringing that. I expect the Amoongus to come. I expect Mega Houndoom, um, Sylveon, and Porygon too. Let's see, one, two, three. Uh, so Manaphy, Al Alakazam, Amoongus, Mega Houndoom, uh, Sylveon, and Porygon two or Neo King. One of them. One of those two. Probably Porygon two, but yeah. So looking at that. I decided I need a mon that's able to swap in on both Amoongus and Mega Houndoom. So I have Sly's Bay the Arcanine. Um, he's got the safety goggles on so I can swap in on spores, go for a um, flare blitz, possibly do a lot of damage. I didn't calc it exactly, but um, yeah. It'll, it'll do plenty even if he's physically defensive. Um, by the way, the match is happening tomorrow. I just got home from work. We're, we're recording it. Uh, I mean, not recording it. We're battling tomorrow on Monday. So hopefully we we uh, we do that. Not Tuesday, but you know, Monday. Anyways, so yeah. I got Extreme Speed in case he brings Scarfed or um, Focus Sash, Alakazam. Also, if he brings Swellow because it literally outspeeds my entire team, even if I choice Scarf it, except for McDriller in the sand but i don't expect sand to be up for that long anyways but he's got extreme speed wild charge flare blitz close combat for the inevitable swap in to make a houndoom um even if i bring it in on a moongus and i go for the flare blitz and he brings in mega houndoom for the i mean he'll bring it in at first as a houndoom just a regular houndoom to get that flash fire and probably just straight up go for dark pulse and nasty blast plot in which case i'm gonna stay in and just go for the close combat but i'm running the adamant nature with 252 in attack four in special defense and 252 in speed just because i want to speed tie with regular houndoom before um i mean if he's if he's modest max special attack i speed tie with him if he's timid i do not because i'm running adamant um also as soon as he mega evolves i don't outspeed him anymore so i'm hoping like i can live a dark pulse i'm gonna have flash fire he's not gonna go for fire blast and if he does i'm gonna get free close combat off on him so even if i go for the flare blitz on him it's completely fine um i can live any one hit from him uh with dark pulse before mega uh, i know after mega evolution it does 52 55 percent and then if he gets a nasty plot up i can still live it no i can't i can't live it after that but that takes him a turn to go for the close combat or that takes him a turn to go for the nasty plot so yeah i'm gonna be able to take that easily so yeah slice bay if you don't know who Cyro is Cyro is amazing he always drafts arcanine and stole it from me this time so now we have bengaras the tyranitar this is actually wrong i don't know why it's just that it was actually a pasho berry i changed it earlier and i don't know why it saves so yeah tyranitar yeah he has the pasho berry he's a support variant with stealth rock pursuit thunderbolt t wave um this ev spread i'm running a 192 in hp 44 in defense so i can take a little bit of hits from his physically offensive mons which he doesn't have too many of 
I mean, he has um, Swellow, which is why I have that. And even if you bring Swellow, I don't expect it to be physical. I expect it to be sw special. Um, that's also if he decides to go for... Um, what? what is it? It's not Psyshock because I'm immune. Uh, I can't even remember at the time. Uh, but 172 in special attack. So I can do at least 44% to a mana fee that's not invested in HP. And so, yeah. And then T-Wave. My plan with this thing is to lead off with it. If he leads off with mana fee, I get a free T-Wave off on it. Because I have the Pasho. He's either going to go for Tail Glow or Scald. And even after Tail Glow, um, the Pasho Berry makes it do like 40%, which is fucking amazing. And it'll allow me to get a Thunderbolt off. Um, before Pasho or before uh, before uh, Tail Glow, um, Scald will do like 20% with the Pasho Berry and it'll do like 40% without a Tail Glow, anyways, after that. So I could live him. And if he doesn't lead off with a mana fee like I expect him to, I'm going to straight up go for Stealth Rocks. I also expect him to lead off with the Swellow, which is fine because I completely wall that thing. Um, I don't know if it gets Focus Blast or not. It could run Natural Gift with a Fighting Berry, but even then, um, oh, that's what it was. No, do I live that? No, I, I don't think I live that. But anyways, um, if he runs the Natural Gift, it, it'll hurt me, and I go for Stealth Rocks, but that's it. Um, Pursuit for the Alakazam, if I need to bring this in on it, and say it's like Specs and it goes for Psy Shock, I'm gonna bring this in. He's gonna have to swap out, and I'm gonna go for Pursuit which is fine. It'll do a decent amount of damage to that thing anyways. And then, like I said, Thunderbolt and Thunder Wave for the Mana Fee. So moving on, I have McDriller, the Life Orb Excadrill with Sand Rush. I'm running Earthquake, Iron Head, Rock Slide, and Toxic. So what my plan is with this thing, basically punch as many holes as possible. If he decides to swap in Mana Fee onto this thing, I go for the Earthquake, it'll do a decent amount of damage. If he decides to swap in his um, Umbreon, I go for the Toxic does a decent uh builds up uh, he could have heal bell but if he doesn't then toxic will wear him down it's also for the porygon 2 because i can't one shot it at all i don't even think i can two shot it with this thing so toxic's there to build up on that thing so that's pretty much it he basically outspeeds his entire team in the sand but max h max attack max speed and foreign special defense now we have what are those the mega blastoise um, he's running max uh, 248 in HP, 252 in special attack, and 8 in speed, just so I don't get speed prepped with a modest nature. Horse Spear does a decent amount to um, Porygon 2 if he's not especially defensive. Uh, I think it does, I can't even remember, I think it does at least 50%, maybe 44 with the Horse Spear, um, which is amazing. Uh, Scald just for the Scald Burns, because I want that. I could swap this thing on Mega Houndoom, unless he goes for Dark Pulse. Uh, Rapid Spin to get rid of Hazards, and Ice Beam for his Amoongus, because that's a swap in to me. Uh, now I go into Crispy, the Heliolisk, with the Salt Vest. So my plan is, um, if he's only going for Scald on my Tyranitar in the beginning, and I, I need to do this, like, I need to remember that this is a swap in, to a plus three mana fee with a salt vest and this HP spread, I only take 70% from an ice beam or a psychic and then energy ball does a little bit less and then I'm immune to scald, his main damaging move, so I can just bring this in, take any one hit and scare it out. I, I sped crept it to where I outspeed max speed ma timid mana fee by one point, which is fine because I want special defense. Uh, hidden power ice in case he decides to bring Swellow or Flygon. Um, or it also hits Nido King. But uh, Hyper Voice just for general stab in case he decides to go for a sub. Uh, and Thunderbolt and Bolt Switch for stab. So now we go to the main attacking mon of this, Batista, the Hitmonlee. Uh, Hitmonlee is Choice Scarfed with Adamant Nature, 252 attack, 252 in speed, and 4 in special defense. With close combat knockoff, uh, rock slide, and poison jab, the knockoff for the Alakazam. I bring it in, outspeed it, bring it down to its choice. Oh, it's Focus Sash, or just outspeed in general, get the knockoff. Rock Slide for the Swellow because I, I still don't outspeed it, but if he's running a special set and he doesn't have anything like Air Slash or like Air Cutter or anything that Swellow gets, 
then I'm doing that. Uh, Boom Burst will still do a decent amount. I think I won't live it, but he'll probably have, like, Heat Wave or something. I don't know. Um, and Limber, in case he decides to bring, um, I don't know, T-Wave on any one one, you know, like Electros or Porygon 2. I just, I need this thing to outspeed the Alakazam. It'll catch him off guard, and I can't let it get paralyzed, so... That's that's pretty much my team for the week one battle. Um, hopefully it does well and uh, I come out with a win. But if not, then he, he I tried my best to team prep for this guy. So thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you go check out his channel. It will be linked in the description below. Follow the NPCC's Twitter. And, you know, consider subscribing if you're new. And I would like you to, you know, I would like you to support the Portland Timbers in this league and hopefully we make it to the top.